What is up, Butterfair and Buskis here, and today we're going to be talking about toys. More Minecraft. I mean, I don't know. You made my eyes go weird. Told you that. Anyways, the first, what we have here, I like to call this taxi glove. Okay? Now, feast your eyes. Now, you've probably seen commercials for these. Uh, they're the Iron Man gloves. They're the Iron Man gloves. Um, you got a button here so you can press it and it motion sense. So if you start out like this and do this, your hand will press up against this circle here. There's a circle in there, okay, there's a circle that once it feels your- Stop it! I'm gonna get to you next, I swear to God, okay? Jeez, people don't know. You can also do this in the glove, which is really fun. <laughs> anyway. Oh, but anyways, um, we have this button that you press, like I said, it's most sense. And it's a weird glove, so if you do this, like, honestly, I can't, you can't really bend your fingers if you have strong fingers. So if you do this, boing, it just bounces back up. It's like nothing happened. So they're made of rubber. It doesn't smell too good, by the way. And if you want to make storage, just do this. And they stick. So, yeah, there's the Iron Man gloves. I... I think they should have made it a little bit longer, so it doesn't look that weird. But anyways, next toy. So this one's kind of a set. Um, I just threw a leg at you. I am so sorry. Um, so <clears throat> it's this. So, it's an Iron Man. Look at it. Look at it. You having troubles there? Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. He's really hard to move. His joints. There we go. Bruh. No, um. Probably wouldn't recommend this to some younger kids. That's why it's probably just for looks. But he has lots of articulation. He has it in the legs. He even has it, like, in the feet. Um. He has it in the hand a little bit. You can twist him. You can kind of bend him. So it's kind of like this kind of been in like this but the armor it's like they put that armor on there I and mean, it's like it's not even uh, and you got these things that really bend and you got the iron man head that can turn and can go like can go like this so he's looking down at his boobies like why do i have these <clears throat> but anyways um yeah that's right hold your head up high no, um, so that's like the main figure. You can like move his torso, so he's kind of like in more action poses. And you can move his legs so he's in splits. Mm, it's fantastic. <laughs> anyway, um, it also comes with a separate head. No, um, so you can. So that means you can take off. And that means you could take off this head and put on his head. So you could have a creepy person staring at you. <clears throat> Sorry. You silly. Okay. I did it. That just completes it. That just freaking completes it. Don't, don't wear this hat because hat? Don't wear this hat, because that looks painful. Ugh. Don't wear that, because it's kind of freaky, and he likes to stare at people's cells. Anyway, so that was the figure, and then it comes with a random sexy leg that you can use um, and build a robot. So the feet go like this. I've never seen that before. You can actually like, twist this so it's like he can hurt himself. It's like, oh my god. Knees like that. So if you get more of these sets of these figures, you'll make like a humongous weird robot. Don't do it because it'll waste your time. But anyways, 
Next toy. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have a part of the toy. Oh well. Uh, you'll get. You'll get it. Don't worry. Okay. So they came came up with like these mini little figures here. I came up with like a mini Iron Man. So they came up with a mini Iron Man. Um, you can use to can actually move his legs, move his little head. It's adorbs, yeah. Um, then it comes with this thing with a blue Iron Man that I can't find that goes on top of this because it has a peg where the butthole could be. Anyway, so there's that little fat. I mean, it's adorbs. It's like only this tall. It's totally worth the pay of like two dollars, I think. Three, four, five, ten dollars. I don't know. Okay. Um, and then you got the Hulkbuster suit. It's it's awesome. The only articulation is frickin' arms. Not even his head can move. It's like, yeah. But anyways, this guy can actually fit inside. I'll show you. Iron Man, don't fight me. Don't fight me. He's fighting me. You can tell because he's not getting his little arm inside. Mm. There we go. Da da da! He fits. You can have him in his little Hulkbuster suit and smack him in the face. It's great. Fabulous time. Just take him out because if you leave, FYI, if you leave this guy inside the Hulkbuster suit for too long, you got like these little holes in there for his legs. His legs will be spread out and be stuck like this for a long time, which was a bad idea. So put him in warm water. It'll be right back to normal. But anyways, you get the Hulk too. No, oh, to me. Um. Surprisingly, he's pretty good. He's got weird, circly things as calves, but you know, you get the picture. <laughs> um, he comes with pants. I actually, colored them right, except for the Iron Man. The Iron Man's only colored on one side, which is another downside. Again, Hulk Buster suit, same thing too, except you see a little bit of this. But otherwise, you're just in it for the front, which is basically three, four places that are red. Five million places that are red, and then you see three or four pieces that are gold. Excuse me, butter. And then you got three or two, two pieces, two pieces that are silver for his feet and this weird center chest. But anyways, guys, I'm Butter Fan Buskis, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>